Hey guys, make sure to stay tuned and we'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay tuned the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Explorer, that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015. If you need to find where fuses and relays for the central locking, also known as power door locks, are located, where you can find these fuses and relays, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix engines, transmissions, um, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So guys, the central locking, power door locks, fuses, relays, let us show you where you can find them. We will demonstrate on this Ford Explorer right here. What we guys need to do now in order to find them, we need to open the, the driver door. Then come to the driver side footwell compartment, behind the parking brake panel, look all the way under the dash on the left side, look up, you will see one black cover like this one. Press these two tabs, pull the cover out and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that, that do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here two fuses will need to be checked we'll talk about relay a little bit the first fuse is guys fuse number 20 that's 1920 right here fuse number 20 that 20 m fuse that you will need to check then you need to check fuse number 32 that 15 amp fuse here but that's the main fuse that you need to check what about relay you don't have any relays guys for the power locks and uh, for the central locking those are known as relay fuses the uh, relay part is practically controlled by the bcm the body control module so guys by the way you have all kinds of different fuses relays circuit breakers and check under the hood it's even more complicated guys and even you have some special fuses okay like this one right here one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that we'll recommend to buy some put them in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time thank you guys for watching and see you next time.